Shalom, giving all praise to Yahweh, Hashem, Shabbat, Hashem, Rakakodash, Shalom to the hopeful elect out there. And I'm going to entitle this video, Her Mightiest Warriors No Longer Fight. This is from Jeremiah 51, verse 30 of the NLT, the New Living Translation. So I'll read it. Her Mightiest Warriors No Longer Fight. They stay in their barracks. Their courage gone. They have become like women. The invaders have bur burned the houses. And we know what that ultimately is talking about. It's, it's going to burn the house, which is the great city. And it's going to become a lake of fire. And broken down the city. We know what city that's talking about. Babylon the Great. Gates. And gates represent your um, defense system or defense systems. So let me go right here. So I put in military draft. It said uh, we need a limited military draft. This is in a new this is from military.com. So you can read the rest of the story if you want. And this is referring to the uh, US military, US Army, or the military as a whole. Okay, this is a Council on Foreign Relations. This was as of two weeks ago. The uns the uncertain future of the US military's all volunteer force. So they're talking about using what's called a conscription act, which is the draft. In other words, they're forcing you to be a part of the military forces because no one, uh, the numbers are down as far as volu volunteer, people volunteering to join any of the military forces. That's why you have a draft in the first place because no man wants to go leave their family to fight in a war in another country and maybe not even come back or may maybe come back missing some things, what person in their right mind want to do that? So when that happens, when you no longer have a volunteer, volunteer service, all volunteer forces, this means the patriotism is gone. Watch the movie Born on 4th of July, starring, um, uh, what's this guy, uh, Tom Cruise. He, pr he played a, a guy, this is based upon a true story named Kovac, Kovacs. If I'm saying his name right, this is a true story based upon a guy <clears throat> that was born and raised in uh, Long Island. <clears throat> and the movie was about him. This was during the Vietnam conflict. And he volunteered and he was telling people that was against the war. He said, love it or leave it, baby, love it or leave it. And he joined and he wound up getting injured where he couldn't walk. A great movie and a great um, acting job, I'll say, from Tom Cruise, all right? <clears throat> that showed he had acting chops. And um, so... What happens later in the movie, he, go, he comes against America and the, and the military. And then in the process of that, when he, got, when he came back home, they kicked him, their, their, their family kicked him out the house. He said, get the fuck out of here. Because he was just, he was wilding out, you know? So he went from one extreme to the, to the next, <clears throat> to the other. <clears throat> so what's happening? You have to call a draft because uh, the patriotism is gone. <clears throat> Putin signs law raising maximum draft age. I'm not going to get into that so much. See, all countries have their form of a draft in case people don't join. The numbers are not big enough as far as them relying on people joining. Uh, prophecy coming in and making. This is uh, 
Jeremiah 51 was that 30, the 30th verse coming to pass. This is CBS News. U.S. military marks 50, 50th anniversary of the end of the draft. So I believe the draft ended, well, the draft ended in uh, 73. And that's when they were pulling out of uh, the NAM. <clears throat> Amid recruitment struggles, the U.S. military this week is marking the 50th anniversary that it uh, became an all-volunteer force. Uh, however, the U.S. armed forces have, you got to read the rest of the article. I can, I, I can already see what they're going to say. People are not joining. People are not volunteering. I'll read a couple more. Russia moves to, to expand conscription. Conscription means a draft. Uh, bolstering its army or making its army bigger. And the Russian, they, lo they love to fight. So uh, ABC News, one week ago, Russian lawmakers extend age limit for compulsory military draft. So it says the Russian parliament, parliament's lower house has approved a bill extending the upper age limit to the compulsory military draft from 27 years old to 30 years old. Now the US draft is uh, from 18 to, I believe it's, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it's 25. Here's another one. Will America ever bring back the military draft? They're going to have to because nobody wants to volunteer. Like I said, the, the, uh, the patriotism and the hearts of these Edomites are no longer there. Let's, this is Boulder City Review, let's reinstate the draft as a com combat wounded Purple Heart, Vietnam War Army veteran. I am a member of the major veterans organization, including the American Legion. And plus, nobody trusts the system. Nobody trusts the system. So there's a, a, a draft on both sides, on the side of Russia and on the side of the US. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say Shalom.